With blood and rage of crimson red, ripped from a corpse so freshly dead, together with our hellish hate, we'll burn you all. That is your fate. Hey, uh, I'm Rooster, this is Squiggles. Today we're reviewing the DC Collectibles Red Lantern Replica. So it's pretty cool, just came in today. Uh, we ordered this back in July, and after several delays and some LCS issues, we finally have it. So I haven't cracked it open yet, so I'm looking forward to this. So uh, right. let's see what we got. Let's see, uh, measures approximately 11 inches high. Oh, this is a pretty big damn uh, statue. You want, do you want a knife or a uh, tape? Uh, yeah, we use a knife on the tape. You got a Batman knife? Yep, I got the Batman knife. All right, the Batman knife. We're not messing around here at the Crow and Commandos. We don't know where the knife is yet, though, so give us a minute. <laughs> uh, no, man, I'm pretty excited about this. I do enjoy the uh, Red Lanterns. They are my favorite cord. So let's, uh, let's get in there. Maybe. There we go. So I've been looking forward to this for, I would say, probably about, I don't know, eight months now, seven months, ever since I ordered the damn thing. Yeah, you're going on, you're going on close to here. I'm going at this weird? Ah, I just got a different idea here. I'm sorry, most knives are sharp, I guess, you know, yeah, you can't count on that. Yeah, really not. Yeah, let's just rip it up, that's great. If I'd known that, I'd use the, my damn knife. Use the seatbelt to cut it on it. Hmm. Always be prepared. This is the boring part of the video. Hopefully, this is the exciting part now. Let's see. Oh, oh man, yeah. this is gorgeous. Is, so, let's see, let's start. Uh, we get a cool little, uh, oh, it's another plastic ring. That's cool. Like Got a couple one. of these. Yeah, just like that one. So, Actually, uh, yeah. Little nice. yeah, it's a little darker, a little more crimson. That's pretty exciting. Well, good, you know, take off the Green Lantern ring. Gonna go Guy Gardner on this one. So, ah, I have fat fingers, so that's not working. Oh, there we go. All right. We've got a ring base, so that's pretty cool. That's, actually, actually that's pretty nice. It's nice. Okay, yeah, we'll put that one there. I'll keep wearing the real one. <laughs> now the part that you've come to see. Oh, this is uh, nice and heavy. Oh, this is gorgeous. Uh, so let's see, like any DC collectible, I am sure there, is, there are some wonderful scuffs on the top. That's to be expected though. If you collect DC collectibles, you know what I mean. <laughs> see, uh, there's some scratches, the paint, a little bit of paint imperfections around the top. A little bit of bubbling. But not too bad, not too noticeable it looks like. And it, it's okay because this particular cord that actually fits well. Yeah, it, fit, it does. It, it fits this, damage. this. Oh, there's a little bit, of, a lot of scuffs around the top though. You can see a lot of the seals exposed around this rim here. Yeah. Ugh. How much is yeah, it? Though? How, how heavy is it? It's not bad. A couple pounds maybe. That's pretty cool. I suspect there's no uh, batteries though. So that's disappointing. Let's see. Uh, uh, it'll take a couple double A's, which we don't have, so we can't uh, test that out. We'll make a follow-up video for that, but hey, you know, not bad. Uh, I think it's retailing for $199. Uh, thankfully, my uh, comic shop gives me a nice 10% discount when I buy anything, so that's pretty awesome. Shop local. Shop local, Hill Road Adventures, Madison, Ohio. Hey, Kurt. <laughs> um, I like it. I'm down with it. I'm looking forward to putting it up on the shelf. So, uh, again, this that is... <laughs> All of that shelf. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, like I said, this is uh, Rooster and Squiggles with the Crow and Commandos. Hope you liked the review. Have a great day.